Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we are going to compare the uh, Convoy L21B against the FT03 with the SFT40. I'm actually down here, literally in the middle of nowhere, and it's like 3 a.m. or 3:30, and someone just rocked up to pick up like guppies or prawning or something on the shore, so I had to wait. So <laughs> I've been down here for like an hour and a half, and I got the cones there at 50 meters. The first one, second one, 100. 150 and then 200 and at the end there those very entries are focus you bastard those entries are 250 so this l21b has a tiny osram um is it the one mil by two mils whatever that's called the cs lmn1 pqwxyz uh, led in it so um yeah so we don't get too much light too far down which also means that um it, the camera doesn't want to focus so I've got it here at 50 meters you can see you know the beam does get down there to 200 meters even further very easily if we go to 400 meters at the back fence I'm not sure how well it's going to come out on the computer but I can see that very very easily that's our 400 meters distance so it's super bright well only 900 lumens but it's doing almost 400 kcd so super super bright we'll come back here to the closer cones the 100 meters 150 meters and um yeah so now we'll throw on the um ft03 with the sft40 and see how it does okay guys i actually had the wrong light in my hand then i had the ea02 that i won from a uh, banggood contest which I'm also going to try and get some beam shots off. So this right here is definitely the um, FT-03 with the SFT-40 on. You can see no comparison to the L21B. Um, it throws just as far, 430 KCD, but it's just so much brighter. No problem focusing the, uh, the camera there. You can even see that last cone at 200 meters, even though it doesn't have the reflector bit on. So we'll go to 400 meters, and you can see there easily like daytime. It's actually quite a clear night too, so you can probably see it better than you usually can. Let me just fix up the camera. So 400 meters. Um, definitely not in the same sort of category. Of course the uh, FT-03 is much bigger, but side by side you can see them. You know, if we go down there to that tree, which is about 150 meters away, you can see it lights it up really good, the uh, L21B. All the cycle modes. It's got a convoy driver in here limited to um six amps i think i think they actually changed the driver now hello we'll double click so side by side you can see l21b here ft03 here so you can see completely different beam patterns we'll turn the camera to 400 meters so you can see side by side the l in all fairness the l21b because that's not an even shore there is probably a little bit further away than the um, FT-03 so it's probably has to throw a little bit further than 400 meters there I'll just double check on maps I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure the shoreline goes outwards um, but yeah so the L21B is obviously a lot more compact than the FT-03 doesn't put out as much light but that's also good because it means it doesn't use as much battery so it's only using 5 amps compared to the 10 amps that the um, FT-03 is using with the SFT-40. So yeah, so these Osram LEDs are quite efficient little things. Though, you know, you don't really need any more light downrange, you know. I can see just as well with that as I could with the FT-03 downrange. It's pretty damn good. Considering it's only using like 5 amps, it doesn't weigh that much. And, you know, you can sustain this 5 amp out output with this L21B. The KW CSL MN1 does pretty good. Works out pretty well, you know. Nice tight beam pattern. We'll go to the tree here. It's only about 50 meters away. You can see no problem at all. Hopefully this video was a bit more in focus than the last one because I had to watch what that guy was doing and uh, 3 a.m. and you can't even be by yourself. Not to be emo, but it's kind of like embarrassing, not embarrassing, but you know, you don't want to like disturb people and stuff. Anyways, that's all I've got. This is the Convoy L21B uh, with the um, KW CSLMN1, uh, whichever one it is with that, the 1mm one, one. And um, 
I'll reflow a SFT40 in here and we'll come back in a couple of weeks and see how that does. Anyways guys, as always, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.